What is up guys? Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a brand new subscription box. But before I talk about that, two things I need to point out guys. Please just ignore my roots. I have not been to the beauty shop and since the quarantine thing, so. And second, ignore this scratch on my arm. Um, Kit Kat lured me in with a promise of love and cuddles and that's when she decided to pounce. So, yeah. But I'm so excited to share with you guys a brand new subscription box. It is called Myth and Sips and it is a coffee and tea subscription box. And you guys know how much I love coffee. Now, I do not like tea. So the great thing about this box is you can choose coffee or tea or both. Totally up to you. The subscription box is also based off books. Like the mini box I have here is all based off the Serpent and Dove book, which was amazing. If you have not read it, you need to read it. So it's kind of a bookish coffee tea subscription box. The owners are so freaking sweet. Caitlin is a friend of mine on Instagram and she actually has her own YouTube channel called Caitlin Talks. And y'all, one of the videos, she let her husband cut her hair and shave part of it. Girl, you are braver than me. Calvin will never touch my hair, even if he probably couldn't make it worse. Um, but <laughs> it's really a quarterly box because they have a like special edition box every quarter, but in between every month they do mini boxes. So you will always be able to get some new tea and coffee and some bookish goodies. The mini box has three to four items and the quarterly boxes have seven to eight. The mini box is $25 if you get coffee or tea and it's $30 if you get both. And for the bigger quarterly boxes, it is $50 for coffee or tea or $55 for both. Their next quarterly box is based off Throne of Glass, which I actually bought already. This box was sent to me for free uh, just so I can share it and review it for you guys. But I went ahead and bought the Throne of Glass box because you guys know I love the Throne of Glass series. Unfortunately, that box is already sold out, but I would definitely suggest following them on Instagram. That way you can keep updated with what new boxes they have coming out. But as usual, that is enough talking from me. Let's go ahead and unbox this box. If you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Okay, sneakity peek. Right on top is a little note to me that says, thank you, Caitlin and Maddie. Those are the owners. Very cool. And then it looks like we have the spoiler card with an art print on the front. Spoiler on the back. We will save that for last. But right on top, I think we have a candle. Let me get it out. Bubble wrap to play with later. This is from Wick and Lane, Little Heathen. <laughs> I love that he called her that, you little heathen. Um, spiced fruit, honey, and witchcraft. That's always an important ingredient. Soy vegan, four ounce. Ooh, very pretty. So it's kind of blackish with some gold sparkles. And it is a wood wick burning, which is always nice. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, I definitely smell the spiced fruit and witchcraft. I like it. This will be the perfect candle to burn for when I'm deciding what spell to use on Calvin when he annoys me. Next we have some green tissue paper. Oh, I think it's an enamel pin. Oh, it's a pin badge. Okay. And it says French. It says French, y'all. Theater Lole et Loon. Lolil at et Loon. The, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Um, but yeah, that is the theater that she had lived above and where she, oh, I don't want to give anything away. Well, anyway, but that was a very big kind of feature in the book for a bit. I do honestly prefer enamel pins over like these kind of pin badges, but I still think I might put it on my pin banner with all my other bookish pins. So very cool. And a big bag of coffee. We're going to save that for last. And the last item in the box 
is a bookmark by Alyssa J Designs. You're kind of OG on my channel. You guys know I love Alyssa J Designs. She does a lot of stuff for Enchanted Fandom, which was a subscription box I had gotten for a while. Oh, I love these type of bookmarks. And this is so freaking cute. It has a little serpent at the end. And then it also has a little sword on here with some really cute beads. But now to the star of this box, this big old bag of coffee. Look how big this is. It's like the size of my head. Uh, <laughs> and it says Myth and Sips, The Witch, Cinnamon Bun Flavored. Ooh, I don't think I've ever had that flavor before. Eight ounce ground coffee, and it kind of has the same art print as our spoiler card. I love how they have these little holes right here, so you can smell it without having to open the bag. Just smelling coffee makes me so freaking happy. Ooh, that smells good. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention that the owner of Myth and Sips, Caitlin, is also the owner of Fable Grounds Coffee. So she has her own coffee shop. Like she is legit, y'all. And she has so many different flavors. So I'm so excited to see what flavors we will get throughout this subscription box. But guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. So we had the option of the Chaucer Reed inspired honey bush blend three ounce loose tea or the witch Lou inspired cinnamon bun eight ounce ground coffee. Then the Sword of Balisadra bookmark by Alyssa J Designs. The Theater Exclusive Art Pen by Bigger Print. And then the Little Heathen 4-Ounce Candle by Wick and Jane Candles. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think of a bookish coffee tea subscription box? Is it something you would be interested in trying? Just let me know in the comments down below. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. It's bad. I know. I know. I know. Let's take. Oh, my, my bookmark collection has. <laughs> that was really country. <sighs> Been the. Ooh, remind me to make a hair appointment ASAP. This is stat emergency.